I, although I'm a, a trained ornithologist and a scientist, what I like most about birds is, yes, understanding them, but I also like the relationship that I have with birds. And that's one of the reasons I keep birds, is because I like to understand them individually and get to know their personalities. And even wild birds, you can actually get to know them. And you can get birds that actually will be quite tame when you're around them and quite habituated. And I think that's very special. I'm a great believer that when you keep animals in captivity, they should be tame and relaxed. And uh, although a lot of people don't like having tame animals, I think it's wonderful. And the, the ability to be able to, well, to be able to go into an aviary and feed a ray parrot is something very special. The echo parakeet was, in the 1980s, the world's rarest parrot, when the population declined to only between eight and 12 known birds. And by managing the wild population and breeding birds in captivity and then reintroducing them, we were able to release about 100, well, exactly 136 birds over a period of a decade. And that together with managing the birds in the wild, ensuring their good nest sites, providing them with additional food, has resulted in the population growing from a dozen, dozen birds at the end of the 1980s to 650 birds in 2015, making it the most spectacular parrot recovery ever. And of course, we're very proud of that. But what's really interesting is that it's been the application of captive breeding techniques to a wild population, understanding the needs of the birds and managing them in nature. And of course, we're very proud that this bird has been recovered, but it will unfortunately, unfortunately requ require some management. We need to look after them for the foreseeable future, provide them with nest boxes and food and so on. But the nice thing is that the techniques that we used to recover the population of the echo parakeet can be used for any of the other endangered parrots worldwide. And what we've got to remember is that there are 330 species of parrots in the world and nearly a third of those are threatened and many of them are critically endangered. So the work that started in a very modest way with this little green parakeet can help benefit parrots worldwide.